Hi, my name is Chris Greenway, and today I'm going to walk through our basic calibration report in CalMan. So, our calibration report is set up with a couple of pages. Those pages are intended for do showing the pre calibration and the post calibration. We have a couple of additional steps in there as well. On the pre calibration, and the post calibration page is going to be laid out the same way. We're going to show the luminance, the grayscale, the RGB balance, some average values for our DEs. We're going to show the same information for our uh, CMS, or in this case, we do that with a saturation set data set with our average and max DE values, charts showing the DE values, and then a visual representation of the CIE and where those land. We're also going to give information about the calibrator, what was calibrated, and the hardware that was being used for the calibration. Just a little bit more on these. The goal on this EOTF chart, we would expect uh, the post calibration to show those as being all tracking really closely. I'm just going to scroll down to my post cal here. So the idea for our post calibration, what we look for ideally is that the tracking for the EOTF is matching right up with our targets, like it is doing in this case. We're looking for DE values ideally under one if possible, here on a DE chart or here on our average and max. And then we're looking for these the red, green, and blue lines to be lined up right on top of one another. Similarly, on our color space, we'd also look for those values to be under one if possible. This TV unfortunately did not have a functional CMS, so it did improve a little bit from our pre-calibration, but we weren't able to get it fully calibrated um, to those, those ideal values. We do include some pages for notes. Those are notes are up at the discretion of the person doing the calibration. They can include things like the settings. They can include things like lim note, noting limitations on the CMS. Um, it's kind of, a, it is up to the discretion of who's doing the calibration. We have two additional pages that are, won't necessarily be visible. These pages will only be visible if you did the, if the calibrator did the additional measurement steps to measure color checker and saturation sweeps. Pages are set up pretty similarly to the others. We have a DE chart that shows the DE values. The color checker is set up to measure real life type content that might be actually be in um, a f film or a movie or something. We'll show the average and max DE values, and then we'll give a visual representation on that CAE chart. Again, CAE chart represents the full uh, color that somebody will see. The triangle highlights the color space that we are measuring. And then within the triangle, we have squares that measure that show the target points and dots that should line up ideally within those squares for the measured values. For our HDR calibration report, it's going to look very similar to our SDR calibration report. You'll notice that the EOTF here now is tracking PQ, and you'll also notice that our color space targets here are much larger as we're doing a 2020 calibration. I'm going to scroll down to the post calibration, and again, our ideal here would really be that our luminance is going to track right along with this PQ, that our DEs are ideally going to be under one, and that the red, green, and blue are going to be matched very closely. In this case, we do still have a little bit more deviation than we did for SDR. That's to be expected. There's just a, not quite as much ability to calibrate that as closely as we desire. And there, and also on the CMS, the calibration in that case tracked pretty closely. We do have a little bit higher than DEs of one. But again, this was on a TV that did not have a functional CMS. We had the notes sections, color checker, and saturation sweeps are track are just the same as they are for the SDR report, where we will measure those and we will include the um, we will include the color checker and the saturation sweeps if those were measured. Thanks, and I hope that helps. Thank you.